Good morning, everyone. Rick and Deb here, Rick and Deb's Awesome Adventures. We are here in Cocker City, Kansas to see the world's largest ball of twine. Really super cool. It's a nice day, just a gorgeous day. It's about a, little, it's about a three and a half hour drive. But we're finally here. We've got the caretaker. Linda is here with us and she's going to give a presentation. So just hang on a minute and we'll get that started. Hello, welcome to the Ball of Twine. I'm Linda Clover, caretaker of the world's largest ball of sisal twine. We have lots of fun here. Some tourists just left from Idaho. People love to come and see us, even if they don't know what twine, why the man had twine. Uh, it's not string, it's not yarn, it's, it can't be plastic. It has to be sisal twine made from the leaves of the agave plant and very fibrous, hard on the hands, but you don't want to wear leather gloves because you wear them out too fast <laughs> if you do that. Uh, the ball, as near as I can tell, weighs 27,000, about 300 pounds, and has well over eight and a half million feet. Now there's a difference in the thickness of twine, so I have to take that into consideration when I'm figuring the feet, but it's fun and as near as I can tell, I have it on the spools like this. And this is how I weigh that. Now, we've, I've just emptied one spool, three pounds and 660 feet already. We finished that today. Uh, my son just put another 40 pounds on these old welding spools. It makes it easy to put it on for people. Uh, we can do, I can give people pieces like this, but if they do, so often they just tie it in the middle of a one strand, and if they tie it right here, it just slips and slides. So uh, it's, it's nice to be here. Uh, the state of Kansas for tourism and lots of websites, tourism websites and Roadside America, different places, they have information to get people to find my email and my phone number, mm -hmm. and I meet people. Uh, and, and it's fun, and people are happy when they come, mm -hmm. and that's what we need in our lives. There's stress. <laughs> but Frank Stober started this ball Christmas Eve 1953. He had lived through the Dust Bowl as a farmer, where they had lost everything. So they knew you actually could lose it all. And they, they uh, kept everything and used it. But after a while, even with his small family farm, just like everyone else, he had piles of twine. And his barn had a problem because every time he would try to get a piece, he would get several. The piles got messier. What was he going to do? Rather than tripping and falling, he rolled it into a little ball, Christmas Eve, 1953. He just simply took twine, and this is what's in the middle. He just started a ball and this this is what he had hmm. and and now here it weighs 27,300 or so pounds and has eight and a half million feet no I haven't weighed it today it hasn't been weighed for a long time I weigh those spools and that's how I know, and according to the thickness of the twine, how many feet it has on it. But when he started his ball to keep from tripping and falling over the piles, uh, his neighbor saw what he was doing. I think possibly he had neighbors see it before his wife realized what was happening out in the barn. But they all had the same situation. They had their few head of cattle, their piles of twine. They didn't want to start a ball themselves, 
So they gave him their excess twine. And I have copies of a, of a little book that he kept in his overalls pocket that had, has a list of 85 farmers that gave him twine. This in the middle of the ball. So if, if a person's uh, great uncle Ned maybe was a farmer in this area. Someone says, I'm not sure, but probably close to Cocker City. I think I've maybe even heard them say Cocker City. You know, who knows what they've said. So he thinks uh, uh, maybe, those people think maybe, he gave twine to Frank Stober. And I can look in that book. And I have found family names in there that people have looked for. That, uh, and, and Frank didn't write in the, his book his own name until number 45. <laughs> he wrote his son-in-law's, but he didn't write his own name. And it's interesting to see names of some of the families that are still around here, and a lot have gone, moved away, or we've lost them. But uh, it became fun now. People love to come. Uh, they come from all over the world. They know about it. Sometimes they don't. They're going past and they see it. But it's been in movies. It's on, in, uh, on TV, all over the internet, uh, podcasts, YouTube. Uh, last week it was on the Today Show. Uh, cool. Vanna White. Flip the numbers for world's largest ball of twine. Oh, cool. It was a question on Jeopardy. Yeah. Uh, the last TV show that I worked with was uh, the Goldbergs. Uh, one of the fun things we have people who come like to uh, say they're recreating the National Lampoon's Vacation yeah. movie. Yeah. Yeah. And they even referenced this in the sure on the Today Show because I I uh, had talked with the lady about it and said, oh yes, and it, just recently I saw a, a memory that the Griswold family came from Chicago. Now they were really the Browns. Mm -hmm. They did have two teenage children. Mm -hmm. They didn't have a dog, which I told them I was very happy about. <laughs> And I said, I would love to make it all the way to California with you. Mm -hmm. But I know what happens to little old ladies that travel with you. <laughs> so I will just stay in Cocker City. Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> yeah. But it's, it's people, I, I hear this from other families too, but th this sometimes their stories are just really fun. Uh, we have serious stories. We have a lot of things that happen, and Frank Stober would be amazed. He, his closest relatives live, uh, I, as a grandson lives less than an hour and a granddaughter that lives an hour. And they all like to bring their families to come and see where their great, what their great grandfather did. And now some are coming from farther away with, that are great, great grandchildren. They're bringing little ones. Uh, he kept it nice and round because he could roll it over and now we can't do that because the ball has an issue like the human body with age and weight and gravity it tends to sag mm -hmm. so it helps to put it on the way I try to encourage people to do but he brought it to town in 1961 we were having a parade all of the towns in Kansas were Kansas was turning 100 and at the time of Cocker City's birthday, we had our parade. And I tend to say the city fathers came and helped him load it up and bring it to town. And would you believe he left it? Now, it was arranged that he leave it. And it's been here since 19, well, it, the first cover and the cement were ready in 1962. And it's been here. This is the fourth cover it's had. Uh, it outgrew the last one. One blew away in a blizzard. And the first one was just kind of temporary. And uh, 
so and it's always been here right on the highway so people see it mm -hmm. and it makes it it makes a fun stop for families if people have small children it's safe they can let their children out here they run round and round the ball and then we say okay let's turn and go the other way <laughs> and uh, uh, it gets rid of some of their energy yeah. and nowadays with teenagers the parents are happy to get their children's eyes off of their devices and yeah. seeing what's out there that they're missing as they drive along and uh, so everyone has stress problems people smile when they come to see the ball they they're happy and uh, sometimes they're on a trip that isn't happy but this gives them a good time mm -hmm. and, and and why not That's right. this is uh, important mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, uh, we have filmed commercials here we have filmed scenes from for movies uh, sometimes I just send them a photo and they put the family in front of it oh. you know with with uh, cool. all they can do now yeah. Uh, yeah. and that's fine yeah that's fine that's what they did with the Goldbergs yeah. when they when they did that yeah. but uh, I, I have books and books and books that have lists of people who sign the guest book the majority of people come don't sign it but I'm always happy when they do and this is why I can say they the whole world knows about it yeah. they know and they come and they have a good time right. yeah. even if they've worked in hay fields and remember these small bales mm -hmm. that they used to have to deal with picking up and stacking and loading loading them onto the trailer and then stacking them in a barn and then all the work they did but uh, it's it's sort of small town uh, old America the way the you know relaxing and and we have all of these benches around here and people sit and sometimes they bring a picnic lunch and they sit here and bicyclists and motorcyclists especially if they're going long long trips they just love the shade mm -hmm. and like now we have a nice breeze although the flies are sure up being a pain yeah. but uh, there again we have a good time yeah. Yeah. It's, cool. it's uh yeah. when people go by locals they honk their horn yeah. that's saying hello hello yeah that's much nicer than uh, some other things they could be doing as they go by that's so right. <laughs> that's we you know, we're a happy place. That's great. That's great. Yeah. And we want people to come and be happy. That's right. Yeah. Or forget that they <laughs> are sad right. for for a while, for a at while. least. Yeah. And uh, I don't know. Do you have any questions that um, you wonder? I don't think so. You pretty well explained it. Mm -hmm. All of it. Um, so you only accept the certain types of the. The twine, yes, the, twine. the sisal twine. Sisal, uh -huh. twine. sisal okay. it is. Yeah. And uh, right. those great big bales that are along the highway now, they don't have small family farms. They need those big bales. Right. But those have, uh, you know, nylon netting, and and if they have, those are tootsie rolls. I call, I say, giant tootsie rolls. Yeah. And if they have the white plastic around them, I say they're big marshmallows. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, uh, you know. But yeah. there still are, they still make the small bales, well, and I used a bale like to, of straw mm -hmm. to mulch my tomatoes sure. and my cucumbers That's this spring. Idea. And uh, uh, so the, there are farmers that still, still do the small bales, but uh, you know, now you can't make a living on a small family farm like oh. they used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just a different way of thinking, and he didn't do it to build the biggest. Although after he saw it was growing, it was fun. I have photos that he and, of it, he and another man, they had taken it to, a, I believe it was a, a grain implement place in Beloit, close by. And you could guess how many pounds it weighed. Well, of course, see, they could weigh it at, a, at an elevator and uh, on the big scales. And he did fun things like that with it. 
and uh, cool. yeah. and it's just like I said, why not enjoy it? That's right. It's here, yeah, that's and right. he he would have no idea the legacy he left yeah. behind or that he was yeah. leaving behind, right. because uh, who would think it would still be here? Right. And people w would travel all, all over. Just you know, there. when he started it, yes, people traveled and went on vacations, but nothing like now. I mean, I can be with young couples from Europe someplace, some country, and I'm telling them I'm so happy they came mm -hmm. to see the United States of America. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's not their first trip. Right. You know? Yeah. The, the world travels, yeah. and it's, it's a different world out there. It so is. This it helps is. to ground people, too, yeah, a little it bit. Does. Sure. It uh, sure does. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's great. And that's, that's why I do it, and I love people, well, and I hear some amazing stories. I bet you do. Some are funny. Some aren't quite so funny. Yeah. Uh, some, oh. I don't know if they're always the truth, and sometimes I learn they <laughs> really were. Oh, okay. And, uh, I had one time I had someone say they every year they would go from like Dallas to Holdridge in Nebraska and they always stopped to take their children's pictures in front of the ball mm -hmm. and it kept track of the ball growing and their children growing well I like that oh, that sounds good doesn't it it was two or three years after I had seen that a family that's what they were writing and I said now, where are you going? And they said, you know, to Nebraska, to Holdridge. Look to see, yeah, you were from Texas. It, they say, yes, they write, that in, they write that in the guest book. And so uh, they really were saying the truth. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, sometimes people come and they just sit, and sometimes they have to hurry. Yeah. In the winter especially, they'll just roll down their windows and take a picture. And look at it and go on. But, yeah. and, and maybe they'll send somebody up. Because it's, it, you get a better picture if you have people in it, or especially children, or dogs. That's right. Uh, That's or right. cats. I had a cat Saturday, too. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I've had hamsters. I've had parrots. I'll be. I had somebody that had a rat. <laughs> now, it wasn't a real one, uh. but she put it in the twine, and she said, my rat is a well-traveled rat. I bet. <laughs> she says, I leave it in my suitcase, in my house motel room okay. hotel room I don't worry about them opening my suitcase a second time yeah. if they should happen to have a worker who would do that right right I understand and I I, I thought well that that's different yeah. you know usually it's just a stuffed animal right. a cute little thing or right. whatever right, right. but uh, yeah. so it's fun yeah Cool. I'm glad you came. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. And we here. welcome people to come. Yeah. And uh, like, a, you know, the state knows my phone number and yeah. my, my email. And yeah. I try to come when I can. For I sure. can't always. Sure. But if I can't, I do sometimes leave pieces of twine. Wow. Uh, that's what I did a few times as COVID was letting up right. a little. Right. When I still couldn't come and I couldn't leave the book. But right. I would put maybe a piece in there. Yeah. Uh, during COVID, the ball wore a mask. Oh. <laughs> and it okay. was still up for a while. And uh, after I could start coming, and, and uh, people said, I don't want my picture taken there. And I said, you might as well, because it was a part of our life. Yeah. You can go to another side and take a picture. Right. Right. And it's the same yeah. thing at Halloween. It turns into a giant jack-o'-lantern oh, for yeah. the month of okay. October. Yeah, yeah. But. Yeah. School kids come, field trips. Oh, I bet. They stand I all bet. the all around it and hand the the twine and yeah. do it like a relay right. and just laugh and have fun. Well, that's great. And uh, that's great. we, if somebody's here from Mississippi, I tell them where to stand because they probably don't know which direction it is home, and <laughs> the kids try to push it home. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. We just do fun things. Sure. Try to come up with something new now and then. Yeah, that sounds really nice. Yeah. Well, that's great. Okay. You think Did we can put a little piece on the... We, we sure can. Okay. You must do that. Okay. Put a little piece on the bottle of twine there. This is the best way to do it with on this welding spool because you don't have to do any work okay. to do it. 
But like I did tell you, what we do is we find a nice long loose end and we wrap it around some twine that's already on here. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't slip and slide. And I always have the person do it. And then all I have to do is hold on to this and walk and twine spins off and the ball is growing. I'm getting, to, am I too far away from you? No, you're fine. This was a new spool so I have to walk close. But this, this is it. But now, if I have a busload of children, I let them, uh, like I say, do it like a relay. Yeah. Because for one thing, I don't have twine for them to just keep each, right. you know, sometimes there's, in an hour, I have 40 or 60 kids. I can't let them all. So then all I do, I can stop any place we want to, okay. where there's a nice long loose end. Okay. And I cut That's it again. Cool. Whoops, see? <laughs> yeah. Here, let's see if I can pull this for you. Yeah, see, we lost it there. Yeah, yeah pull it, we have to keep it pulled tight. Pull, pull, pull tight, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Watch when I go around and make sure it's tight. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that is remarkable. I've heard but about this my whole you've, life. You've heard about it, yes, and see, this is what I had. You say that, you've heard about your yeah. your whole life. I had a man come from. London. He ran up those front steps and he had a teenage daughter and a wife getting out of the car slowly. Yeah. He ran up to the ball like this. Oh. He said, I've wanted to do this for so many years. Yeah. And they were embarrassed. Yeah. So see, we're just doing the reverse. Right. And now that twine is on the ball. Well, cool. And this is how it grows. Well, oh, and you two cool. need to do this yeah. before you leave. Yeah, we sure can. Yep. Yeah, we sure can. Here, I'll you want me to hold on to that? Okay. And we'll just, just you, watch us uh, do this. Here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you just find you a nice long loose place here? Okay. Wrap it around. Not one piece. Not one no. piece. No. See, it has to be like around this. several. Oh, several. Yes, several. 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 That's right. Yes, because if it's that's just right. that one piece, it's going to just slip and slide. Okay. Several. I can do it again. I can do it again. Uh -huh. Okay. There we go. Uh -huh. You need a long piece here. Okay. And okay. Okay. And then just tie this with this. Yes. Huh? Uh huh. You see, you okay. we want that. You we want your twine to be on the I'll twine that's already on there. Yeah, she's she's watching. She's seeing. Yeah. Here yeah. you are. Well, that's it has to be the loose pieces. Yeah, the two loose knows. ends. Yeah. These two. Yeah. Uh -huh. These two. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Now we'll let. Okay. Oh yes. We'll let her. We'll let her tie that on. Okay. 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 Now all you do is walk. And I'll try now to. the wife. Uh, yeah. When it's a new spool, it's uh, if you're not just real close, it it's it falls off. Yeah. Okay. So, who would think putting twine on a big ball could make people smile and have, you know? <laughs> But they do, so why not let them let them do it? Again, we're going to wrap it around that twine. Well, I was going there, but here this one's closer. Two ends together. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, we have a cricket. Cricket, yeah, I've seen that. And it should have stuff on it yeah on the twine that they didn't shouldn't but stay around see there okay. you and oh, you know cool. what you just did you set a world's record oh you said a world record it was already the biggest and you made it even bigger oh, oh. <laughs> see there well, see you're, you're a world record holder yeah uh, cool. I will when I will have somebody in a carload that is especially excited it's you know and, and the others aren't well they want to go first well, uh -huh. no, they need to go last. Because it'll be even bigger. Yes. yes. So 
I, 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 I can see if that's going to work, and if it doesn't, I always say, oh, I wanted to kind of end over here. Why, why don't you take it and you do it? You finish it up then and put just a little bit more over right. so we end up there. So they are the record holder. Right. And, and there right. might be another car pull up and you've got to break that record. Right. But people, it's That's fun. Okay. Okay. Hold up, wife, hold up, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll give it a try. Just follow me around. Okay, here, let me now see if I can do this right. See if you can do it right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're getting, it should be. Where is a good place? Okay. Uh, There's one. There's one we can tie on to. Yeah. See? Okay, yeah. You want to get around some twine that's already on here. Yeah. Teenage girls look at me like, you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I bet they do. Uh, <laughs> but uh, they're going to find out. Okay. So you just tie it like tie a knot? A, yes, any type of a knot. Just a tight knot. I've had square knots. I've had all kinds of all kind of fun names. Okay, there we go. Brandy knots work as good as anything. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, now you have it. Yeah. Okay. Now hold it tight. Yeah. Okay. It's easier to do when the spool is like this. Uh huh. Yeah. See, go. now it's. I'm trying to do it backwards. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's you. And people try to twist it and turn it, and they yeah. don't have to. It turns on its well, own. That's the whole idea. Yeah. Oh, well, okay. And we can, we can go uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. Yeah. And see, then we can stop any place. Here's right. some nice long low sins. Let's stop here. Okay. Okay, that'll work. Okay. All right. See, looky there. There we have, there's a good one there to tie on to. Let's yeah, wrap sure it is. around some twine. I throw it over the top and pull it up uh, every so often, put a weight on it, and to try to help well, yeah. keep it pulled up a little. Yeah. But, <laughs> there. Okay. There's an, oh, the dog, we're away from the dog. Oh, he'll be all right. Oh, I know, but. That's a, that's a friendly little, I mean, it's not little, but he's really pretty friendly. He just, don't, he's like separation anxiety. <laughs> yes. He's just a, yeah. But that's okay, that's the way they should be. Yeah. We should, they should want us and miss yeah. us. Yeah. Okay. So do you think you've got what you need? Yeah. More than you wanted, Thank I you know. I can talk. Nice. And sure. <laughs> sure. Well, I have you. lots of stories. Thank you very much. You. See, one of the stories I can tell you is, you know, I said we have fun here. I had a lady who came a year ago in April. Oh. And she left Oh, Tudge. left it. This is Tudge, her cat. Okay, isn't that neat? Oh. Meow. <laughs> yeah. She was a breast cancer survivor. Oh, really? Oh, cool. This was a trip. She was very joyful. I bet. Me. I bet and so. this is her actual cat touch. That's cool. And children love this. Do I this. bet they do. I bet they and do. Then yeah. Then parents have to take two. You know, they have <laughs> yeah. to do both of them. Right. But right. This is her real cat. Okay. Touch. I've seen pictures of her. Really? I don't know her. I've never met her. Yeah. Well, that's so, really cool. Are, that I hear are serious. Yeah. This I'm is a, you, you will, you would enjoy this story. Man, you have to hear this one too. I keep pulling this out. You know, you don't have to cut, get up, but you can see here some, some, it looks, remember macrame mm -hmm. things? Oh yeah, I see that. I keep pulling it out. Yeah. Because it's back in there. Uh, a hmm. couple was here and they are in military at Fort Riley. Mm -hmm. And they uh, were touring around and all. And she s said, could I do something with some of this twine? And she did this. She said sh her great-grandmother in Germany after the war said they could not get twine. You know, in America we were concerned because we couldn't get chocolate and we couldn't get nylons and all of these you know we've all heard the all mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. war stories and all and after war but she said they had a grain they grew she said i don't know you know i'm sure she was a small child when she heard it so high and what they would do they would cut it off to the ground and they would put twine make shocks with it just a little cool. you know mm -hmm. whatever it was oats rye she didn't know I, uh, and 
they could not get twine. So they thought, well, they could use those stems, but they were too short because all they could get was just a little bit. And they, you know, they needed more. So they started doing this, going through hmm. this much work to put around shops, bunches of, right. of, of a grain. Right. To think that they had to do that. And uh, That's crazy. so I keep yeah. pulling that out because this, you know, it was, it's, it's been there for a year now. Oh, wow. And That's it's cool. clear back in there. Yeah. And yeah. she just, so I hear serious stories yeah, too. Yeah, sure. And sure. some, they're just fun. Yeah. I've had uh, uh, Thelma and Louise gals that come from that old movie. Uh-huh, uh-huh. One time they even had Brad Pitt with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I remember that. But I, oh, wow. I always say, I hope you don't end your trip the way Thelma and Louise movie. Yeah. Then, you know. <laughs> so yeah. I hear lots of fun stories. Yeah. People that come. And yeah. I like to hear them. And well, sure, them. I bet you do. I bet you do. But, it's uh, very interesting. It is. Yeah. And now we have a good place right beside us where people can get yeah. them. Their smoothies, their, their all kinds of coffees. They ground their beans and they do all of this. And yeah. we have a coffee truck. That's cool. In our little town. I see that. That's we cool. Have, yeah. and, and a little sandwiches and all right. too. Right. So we have, do have fun. Well, sure. Sure. But yeah. It's, uh, yeah. you know, we used to do lots of radio interviews and I'd send magazine or send to magazines and newspapers photos and, mm -hmm. but, you know, now it's a different world. <laughs> yeah, it is a different if world. I send them, uh, yeah. If I send them photos, if, if they're using it maybe on a something they're advertising online. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, I mean, sure, sure. Because they yeah. like to use it like uh, yeah. uh, places where you can rent cars, yeah. travel, anything to do with travel. Right. You know, and all they like to, yeah. to use yeah. it. And uh, that's okay. And sometimes they make fun of it, too. Oh, I know. But if they do, people still remember it. They still they, remember it, come. right. Um, right. Yeah. Here well, uh, I tell you, from New York, I tell you what, uh, hold on here, just this. Well, thank you very much for that. We did appreciate it. Thank you so much. That was very, very we like knowledgeable. Well, thank you so much. That this has been really cool. <laughs> We're different. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. Well, thank you again, very, very much. Thank you. Okay. Well, that was a very, very nice presentation that she gave here in Cocker City, Kansas at the world's largest ball of twine. We are at a little picnic area here in Cocker City, Kansas where we're going to have our lunch. But right now I'm going to walk around I'm going to do a walking tour of Cocker City, Kansas. Now look at this. Now this is interesting. Uh, I don't know, it appears to be empty. Oh, there is lighting though. Huh. Well that is something. Huh. I imagine you come here and set up an evening or something like that. A little echoey in there. But that's where we're going to be having lunch here in a little bit. Let me go back across the street and we're going to show you around Cocker City, Kansas. That interview went so, so good. A merciful man is merciful to his beast. Okay, a little water fountain there. Okay, we're going to go walk our way back up. Um, where, we, where we were, and we're just going to walk around here a little bit and do a tour. The wife's going to get the dog taken care of, and we're going to have a lunch that we brought. We just love to do stuff like this, you know, I mean, never been here before, and uh, this just makes it so nice to be able to have a nice day, and that, I couldn't have asked for a better presentation. I got to give a huge shout out to her, to Linda because she did a fantastic job of that interview, presentation, rather. And I did get some pictures, of course, and I will post that at the end of the video today. I do think this will be our only destination today. Maybe, maybe there might be another one. I'm not sure yet. Depends on how late the day it is. We are quite a ways out, but, that's all right. 
That's what these road trips are for. And we really could not ask for a better day. Okay, this is downtown Cocker City, Kansas. Let me go across the street here and we're going to give you, let you look at this mural they did. This is really very pretty. I will take a picture of this um, here. Got to get a picture of this. This is really nice. Greetings from Cocker City, Kansas. Isn't that neat? Okay, I did try to take some pictures. Hopefully they'll come out on the video. Well, let me get up here a little bit closer and let you get a really good look at this. See, there's their main downtown area. There's their water tower. And of course, there's their ball of twine. Okay. Yeah. Kansas 24, that's the highway that we're on. Cocker City, Cocker City, Kansas, established 1870. That is a really pretty mural of their town. That is so cool. And there it is. I know I can't take it this close, but I did try to take some pictures of it. Hopefully it'll come out. Well, let's walk on down. And oh, we've got we've got to do this old gas station. It's not really. I don't know if it really was at one time or not. Uh, let's walk over here and take. We got to look at this old gas station over here. I tell you what, I might try to do something here. Just a minute. <clears throat> okay, uh, I tried to take a picture of that ball of twine from right over there. I tried to. I did take some earlier, so I think we're good on that. Now make sure the road is clear here, and it is. So we're going to walk across this, this, I guess it's really more like a highway. We're going to walk across this highway here and get a look at this gas station in this cool i seen this on the on their website yep there it is oh it's really pretty too look at that red and white here let's go get a close-up of it KT Oils and Gasoline, it says. Wow. Really nice. I know I didn't dare leave without getting this. Now let's walk over here. And let's get this side of it. Look at the price they want. I got to show you this here too. Boy, don't you wish it was like that today? Boy, I know I do. Well, let's go over here. The old station inn, it says. I will be getting pictures of this too, as soon as I get done. Oh yeah, really nice. It says the old station in Cocker City, Kansas, featuring two full size beds, three piece bathroom, kitchenette, with microwave and mini fridge. Huh, will be. I don't know if I can see through that screen or not. Probably can't. Okay. Well, I'm going to take some pictures here before we move on. Oh, look at this. This old Coca-Cola cooler. I think it needs some work, but that's all right. I know that I can remember using those when I was a kid. 
I sure can. Okay, I think we'll stop and we'll take some take some pictures here just real quick. Okay, I took some pictures. Now we're going to go on. They've actually got a place that you can stay if you so desire when you're at Cocker City. We're going to go by and take a look at that here in just a minute. And they got twine going all the way down the, the block. I think on both sides of the street, it goes all the way down. Let's go on here. Huh, let's look over here. Limestone Lodge. Huh. And here's the ball of twine suite. Ball of Twine Suite. Oh, that is really cool. Let's go on down and look at this other old building. I want to get this done down here. I'll stop and take more pictures and then we'll and then we'll go on. And this just says explore more on it. I don't know what that might have been at one time. So, let me take some more pictures and I'll be right back. Okay, well, that lady was so nice. And uh, there were several people here. Well, they're all gone. So while they're gone, I know I took a bunch of pictures, but this is the main reason why we came here today. And uh, we got to do the, the ball of twine and everything. And I mean, that was so cool. But now I've kind of got this break. Well, she's left. And uh, so I want to kind of walk around this one more time. Where I've got some time. Frank Ball, Frank's ball that grows a gazebo. Oh, the ball of twine used to be in that gazebo. Well, hold on just a second. Okay, I had to wait for that to get over with. This just shows where it used to be stored. And that gazebo where we're going to be having lunch today, that's where the ball of twine used to be. Okay, that explains it. Okay. I was kind of wondering what that gazebo was there for. But anyway, we're just going to kind of walk on around. I did try to take a lot of pictures uh, because we did have, you know, quite a ways to go. So I'll make sure I got enough video and pictures of this ball of twine here. Okay, so we're going to go on and explore the rest of the town. Of course, I got the ball of twine suite, I got the limestone lodge, and I got all that down there. So now we're gonna go on. And there's that twine that goes all the way down to both sides of uh, their main street. Yeah. We'll go by this again. A lot of these communities like this have a very rich, a very, a very cool heritage. And that is just really cool. All right, so let's go on across the street and we'll do the rest of it, I'm sure. Now this, this particular business up here, I've seen on other uh, YouTube videos. And it's called the Igor Auditorium Monster Museum. And I'll try to get some pics. I don't think we're going to go inside uh, today, but I'm going to definitely, definitely get some pics. And then we'll walk on down a few blocks, and I think we'll, I think we'll pretty well be done. Well, let me get some pics of this real quick, and then I'll be back here in just a little bit. 
Okay, well, I got some picks. Uh, I guess they're not here. Uh, they're closed right now. It says we will be closed from Sunday, June 18th through Thursday, June 29th for maintenance. Okay, that's too bad because they had some ball twine merchandise in there. But they're closed right now, so that's all right. We're going to go on and explore. Oh, look at this old building here. Looks like they're working on it. Uh, this is called the Cocker City Ledger. I'll have to take it between the scaffolding here. I don't know if this is... Well, here. Um, just a minute here. Okay, I got some pictures. Okay. Yeah, you just never know what you're going to find. Um, I actually found this on the on the web, though. So that was pretty cool. Now here's a, another little gazebo. Pretty cool. And this looks like it's a war memorial. Definitely going to have to get a picture of this here in just a minute. Okay, I took some pictures. I have to switch back and forth between video and pictures. So that's why it just takes me a minute. I thought we'd go and look at this war memorial real close. The two servicemen saluting the flag. This looks like it might be fairly new. All right. Well, I think that's just about all of it here. Um, it's such a rich and such a neat looking little community. We're going to walk on down here on this side and then we'll walk around on the other side. That, but there's that ball, there's that twine again. Goes all the way down. Most of the sidewalk anyway. And here's their post office. Yep, okay. And then they got their city offices over on just right over here. Municipal building. Library, city office, utilities, right over here. Okay, all right. There's that twine again. Looks like there might be another old gas station down here. We're going to go down and explore that real quick, and I better walk back. <laughs> get back to our picnic area that we were at. It's down a little ways, but you know, what the heck. That's why we're here, to see stuff like this. Oh, I love old gas stations. And old buildings and old bridges and that sort of thing. We better get across the street or highway here. This may be an active service station over here too. It sure does look like it. So let's go over here and see what we can see. Yeah, you know, I think this is. I think this is very much... Well, I don't know now. It may have been attended to that, but it's so, I don't think there's anybody here. 
Okay, well, let's walk on and we'll see what we can see here. There's the water tower. About missed it. Oh, we could miss something like that. But this is it. Highway 24 here. Pretty busy highway. That looks like they're remodeling that building. This building looks like it's got maybe Bigfoot or something sitting on top. I'm not sure what that might be. Some kind of critter sitting up there. All right. Okay, had to get a picture of the water tower. All right, let's make our way on down here. We're just about done. Coca-Cola machine. This looks like it might have been a maybe a maybe a secondhand store at one time. I don't believe they're in operation anymore. Or maybe just not today. I don't know. And there's a very old looking building right here. It just doesn't look like it's uh, used for much anymore. But I don't, I don't really know. Okay, I think we're right back where we started, almost. So, I'm sure glad you come along and joined us on this very pretty Monday here at Cocker City, Kansas. But we got to see the world's largest ball of twine and got a really nice uh, interview there. Really nice interview. Really, really nice. Yeah, now I got to find this park again. Oh, it's right over there. Okay, we got it. Okay, guys, I think we'll have some lunch and we'll probably get on back. I sure hope you uh, enjoyed today's video. Remember to go out and explore your world. Have fun, but be safe. Just be cautious, be aware of your surroundings, and just have fun. So, I think we're going to call it good for today, unless something else comes up. I don't know yet. It probably won't be because we're so far out, you know, uh, today. So, like I always say, we'll see you on the next video. So, goodbye for now. Here's this gazebo where the ball of twine used to be stored so at any rate we will get back with you at another time we'll see you on the next video so goodbye for now